Uh, so what are you looking forward to, man? What do you what do you start? What does the season look like? What are, who are you wrestling? You got any pretty cool dates on the schedule, or is that something you don't even know what's going to happen yet? We had a lot of cool dates on the schedule. You know, we had uh, we were looking at Stevens like you were talking about last week. We got them right up the road. That's got to happen. We were going up to Jaywoo. We were going out to Del Val. We had all the local spots that we want to get. You know, we had TCNJ coming into our house. Going to be our first home match. Now everything's looking like January to March in D3. That's what we're figuring yeah. on. So I think that's across the board, though. I think yeah. that will be the same way. Yeah. yeah I think and how, how are your kids with that? Is that something – Coach, I want to take a gap year. I want to take a year off. What is that looking like? So for some of us, we have guys that love it, right? Quick season, short, you know, especially the older guys. And then there's some that that want the fans and don't want to wrestle. They want a whole season. So that's kind of where we're getting. Where are your guys at? We're kind of a mixed bag because we've definitely got some guys. I've had guys that have been with me for a year now. You know, they showed up last September and they're itching to go. They've been practicing in we didn't even have a room back then. We were just rolling out mats like the Jags in the old days in the cafeteria. So these guys have been scrapping for a year and a half. They want to get out there. So I feel for them. But we've definitely got some younger guys because it's a new team. We got our transfers that are ready to go. And we've got about 18 freshmen that could probably use a little bit more extra developmental. So it's definitely a mixed bag. For some guys, it'll be good. For some guys, you know, they're itching to get out there tomorrow. Do you know what?